And welcome back, my nerd musician friend. Here is Gustavo Silveira from The Nerd Musician, or Musico Nerd. And in this series of videos, I'm showing you how can you use Fusion 360 in order to make your own 3D uh, model for your MIDI controller in order to actually use a laser cutter, not a 3D printer, right? So you can just use my design where I made like all the heavy work and you can just take my design and adapt it in a really easy way in order to make your own uh, enclosure for a laser cutter, right? So if you are liking this series, please give a like and subscribe to the channel. So let's get started here. So this is for how can you make your dimensional drawing. Last video, I showed you how can you export a DXF file from each surface in order to print in a uh, laser cutter, right? So this is for how can you use a how can you make a dimensional drawing if you want to actually drill holes or if you want to just make a drawing so other people can use it, like I like doing. For example, I made the dimensional drawing from the Flipper DJ, which is the one that we are seeing. And here I have like the top panel with all the dimensions that you need, like mounting holes, like 30, or the distance, like top panel, bottom, sides, right? So how can you do this? You come to model, drawing from design. So model drawing from design and click OK. Oh, you can change the, the sheet size. I think that A3 for this size is good. I don't really change anything here right now. And then you're going to go to another place on Fusion, which is this. Uh, let's wait a little bit. This place where you can actually make things in 2D, put, dimension on, put dimensions really easy. So first of all, this is really small. You have a scale here. I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to do uh, one by one because I want the person to be able to print this and actually glue in a wood and just like drill from there. I want to see like the top. So you just put whatever you want and click OK. And here you can see that you have the arcade buttons and a lot of things. So I'm going to actually solo this like suppress all accepted except selected so now i just have the sketch from my uh from the top so now we start putting the measurements which is really easy doing that here so for example we have this uh dimensions so first of all before that i'm going to do those uh, those center marks here right which are good for you to to make a drill or make a hole here using a drill. So you can come here to geometry and center mark or just click in here. And then you click the components that you want to make a center mark. Okay, now it's time to add some dimensions between like parts, right? So you have different types of dimensions. For example, we have this D like creates linear, aligned, angular, radius, and diameter dimensions. So it creates several different types of dimensions. Let's try this. So for example, this is good for mounting holes. You can just click in the circle and you can like move where you want to put the number. So I just need for one hole, right? You can click here. It automatically tells you what is the the size of the hole so i'm just going to make one for each type of hole and if you click it you can actually drag the position of the number and then with the same D, you can click from one place to another, like I you can click from this face 
to this face and now you have the distance between these two faces but for actually measuring distance between uh, places I like to use this linear dimension measures the horizontal or vertical distance between two points create dimensions by selecting an edge or by selecting two points so you're gonna see how it works so you actually need two points but let's say that I want to measure from here to here I can select this point let's make sure that I'm here you can select this point and you can select this or you can select any point in this axis so for example I'm gonna select here and it still is going to give me the distance like the horizontal distance right so let's uh, I'm gonna do from here to here so from here to here then you can do all the sorts of stuff like I can measure the distance from here to here distance from here to here uh, distance from this center from this center and so on and then you can just keep doing until you until you are happy like with all the dimensions that you think that you actually need for this drawing and then you can just click on PDF all sheets you can open the PDF so let's uh, export this like test, uh, test laser no test test ga okay more appropriate and then once it's done it's gonna save and also it's going to export the PDF you also can click uh, here and change some uh, things like the name I'm just going to put Gustavo Silveira the name Ga. and then it changes here so that's it I hope you liked this series of video on Fusion 360 there's so much more about Fusion but I tried to make this really uh, short as short as possible in a way that you don't really need to learn all the things about fusion 360 right in order for you to make your own enclosures if you are like a diy uh lover a diyer or whatever like me if you like building things and if you like building midi controllers and things with electronics and programming like things with arduino i have a course which is called the making music with arduino that if you liked the series of videos like i'm sure you'd love my complete course or I guess right and I also have a free course which is the DIY MIDI controller workshop so go there and watch the DIY MIDI controller workshop and if you like go there and uh, subscribe to my complete course the making music with Arduino and again subscribe to the channel share this with your friends all the sharing is super helpful right and leave your comments below tell me what you think so, see you later.